Hi everyone, it's Steph with Addict to Cash. So glad you're joining me today. I finally found some jewelry jars. These are not so easy to track down, but I got three of them at a Goodwill, not too far from me, but we were on a drive on a beautiful Sunday and we found a Goodwill and they had three jewelry jars, so I bought them all. <laughs> one was $29.99. This one was $24.99, a little bit smaller one and then another $29.99, another big one. Um, but today I'm just gonna open one because it does take quite a while to open them. Hopefully we can find some treasures, maybe some gold, but even either way, something that we could resell and make some money. So let's get started. I'm gonna open this one first. Ooh, they are packed pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so let's see, what do we have here? We have a little gold tone with a toggle clasp. That's kind of cute. Nothing fabulous, but you know, could be like a little $5 costume necklace. So I'm gonna put that on my tray over here. And we have a faux pearl. I'm pretty sure these are fake. I'm gonna do the, yep, test on no scratchy on my teeth. If, it, if you rub it against your teeth and it kind of is gritty or a little scratchy, that means they are faux pearls. That's what these are. So I will put $5 on that. Let's see, oh, these are kind of funky. Definitely have some vintage. They're, uh, they could be little porcelain beads, actually. Oh, they might be little porcelain beads. That's kind of cute. Um, I thought those were pretty, so I could put $5 on that. So five, 10, 15 so far, and we're just getting into it. So I know I'm gonna make some money on this. It's a little, uh, I think these are plastic, but they're kind of pretty red beads. So I might put those aside because they do say something on the clasp. Let me look. Let me look a little closer. Oh, it's Monet. Oh, it does have a little tag. So Monet costume, kind of cute. Not sure if I would, maybe I guess I could put $5 on these. Why not? All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, okay. This is, pardon my husband's gonna be mowing the lawn, so you're gonna hear the lawn mower going. Okay, that is a little malachite heart on a silver, um, looks like a liquid sterling chain, but the malachite has a little bit of dullness to it, so I'm not sure if I could clean it up a bit. Not sure if malachite, you know, if stones, if they're a little dull, will clean up. I know I can get the sterling to be a little bit, um, shinier so that um if i can get it to maybe clean it up a little bit i could put maybe 10 15 on that so that's pretty that's a nice stone these look to be plastic so that's a little plastic necklace which i'm not gonna do much with that one so i'm just gonna put that aside because i can make my own jewelry bag up at the shop and sell that for ten dollars um, these are little shell necklaces, kind of cute. They almost look like seeds or shells, some kind of seed or shell. And then these are definitely shells. I don't know if these are really popular, if people buy these kind of shell necklaces. They're like what you get when you, know, you go on a trip to an island and they have really, you know, little shell necklaces that you can buy there. But I might put these aside. I'm not sure about those. This is another, like the other one. This one and this one kind of like are matching. <laughs> so here's a purple of it. And I don't think, yeah, no, that's just fake and plastic. So I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, there's another one in blue. <laughs> so I might just do a bag of beads for like five or $10. Okay, that's interesting. This apartment nine i want to say is that like a kohl's tag oh yeah it's from kohl's <laughs> so i could sell this at my spot at the flea market i have and i can i mean it's was bought for eleven dollars so i could certainly put five dollars on that it has cute little um seahorses and faux pearls little fishy kind of a summery with glass beads so yeah i would put five dollars on that kind of cute little sea life motif so not bad i could put that yellow bear for 
like five dollars. Here's another Kohl's necklace. Oh, it's very similar. Oh, it's the same thing actually. <laughs> it's the same one. So I have two. That's all right. Those would be perfect at my flea market spot. And then this is just a little stretchy bracelet. And it looks like it's not in great shape. So I'm going to just put that. This, this has string hanging from it. So I don't know. It's probably... I get nervous about stretchy bracelets. If you've seen any of my videos, they either get overstretched or they break easily. So that's going to go in my bead pile. Oh, and then there goes another random bead. So I think I have another broken piece. And the lady at Goodwill was like, oh, they have, they put really good stuff in there. <laughs> well, we'll see. Oh, I see broken beads. So I'm going to put together broken beads for my friend, Jen. Oh, that's Trafari. Is there another earring or is it just the one? That's pretty if I could find the other one. So we'll put that aside. Maybe I'll find the other earring to that. Um, these are actually beads. Are they crystals? Oh yeah. This is from the bead gallery. So I'm gonna put this aside for my friend. Wait, I think it has an earring stuck to it. Wait a minute, I don't know. I don't know what these are. There's these little rings and then these are beads that are broken, but they are glass or crystals so I'm gonna put those aside I just gave my friend Jen a big box of jewelry so this I could give to her too another box of beads and that's just a random thing maybe I'll just dump it out and see what I can find that's what somebody said in another video dump it out so that's what I'm doing I'm dumping it out and I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure that I'm gonna get $30 worth of resell back from this that looks like a hair tie <laughs> this is a keychain i could probably sell that for a dollar or something at the flea market these are earrings i think there's another one i don't know if i could get 10 for these no they're just plastic so nope i don't think so so this could be a want want and i might end up opening another jar because it didn't dig that long I'm not sure what these are. This is a little stretch bracelet. So I'm gonna throw that there. Another stretch bracelet. Again, I, oh, well, this one looks to be not broken or anything and it's kind of like enamel. So maybe I'll put like three bucks on that. This is, I don't know what, maybe, oh, it's maybe for your keys, like a keychain ring or something with little glass beads. So it's got a cute little glass animal on it. So I might just put that at the flea market for a few dollars. Let's see, what else do we have here? This is an earring. It's like peace signs, but is there another one that goes with it? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. These are some crystal beads. Again, I'm gonna put those in the pile for my friend. Little bracelet with uh, some shells maybe a couple dollars at the flea market this one is a faux pearl necklace that has the screw clasp definitely fake not real I'm gonna just screw that tight so I'll put that there this is a watch it says Geneva but it's not in the greatest condition so that's just gonna go back into kind of scrappy pile. This is some more cold jewelry, but it's all tangled, so I'm gonna have to work on untangling that. Let's see, we got a couple of looks like handmade bracelets here. I don't know, that can't be a bracelet because it wouldn't fit on anybody's wrist. Uh, that's funny, I can give those to my friend. Um, that's another Kohl's necklace that looks to be a little bit mangled. These are all tiny, tiny like tie pins or those little pins with the back that you just kind of squeeze. So this one's uh, proud to be Irish. Proud to be Irish. Okay. That's pretty cool, but not much I'm going to do with these. That's missing stones. I don't know. Little ballet slippers. I might just be getting into the other jars. That's a little bingo thing. Uh, not too much there, so I'm gonna push that aside. And 
this is a bunch of bracelets so wow let's see not anything too exciting those are beads there's some loose beads that's rubber plastic so that definitely was a womp 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 i don't know what these are there's more of them are they napkin rings and they're glass so i don't know maybe they're napkin rings well, maybe. all right well you know what this didn't take that long so i think i'm going to open another jar and see what happens <coughs> because I'm not sure even with the $5 things, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you know, I'll make my money back, maybe a little bit more on that one. Let's open this little one. Maybe we'll have better luck in the smaller jar. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, there's some right off the top, some bangles. Right off the top, we got some bangles. It's not bad, they're kind of pretty. I don't, they're not old. And does it open? Let me see this one. I don't know if it has an opening to it. Oh, nope. Nope, it's just a bangle. A bunch of bangles. Oh, there's a couple more. So, I don't know. I would maybe put $5 for all those bangles at the flea market. Let's see. These are plastic beads. Yep, plastic beads. Whoa. That's kind of funky. <laughs> they are plastic, fantastic. And they have a little, oh, they're J. Crew. Oh, that's, that's cute. I could put $5 on that at my yellow bear spot. I try to do a little bit higher end in my family's antique shop, but the flea market spot that I'm set up at, I will do, let's dump this out. Ah! I hate when a lot of loose beads fall out. <laughs> That's not a good sign. And maybe I won't be going back to this store because I'm not seeing a whole lot. A broken, actually it's not broken. It's just missing the watch head. It could be in here though. It's a watch band, plastic beads. Put that over there with the other plastic beads. I thought I saw some crystal beads. Okay, this looks like crystal beads. They are, um, hmm, oh yeah. There's like a multi-strand, I think they're crystal. Yeah, they're like little tiny crystals and it's a multi-strand necklace, so that's pretty. And it has a rhinestone looking um, clasp part that all the rhinestones are there, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty, so I might put 15 on that. So that's, that's a good one. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better. Although I'm kind of looking through here, I'm not sure what this is, and it's very tangly. So I'm trying to see if I'm seeing anything spectacular. This looks like, oh, that's pretty. So this is a multi-strand necklace with little pieces of mother of pearl on it and some crystally looking beads. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that. I would put like five or 10 maybe on that. So that's not bad that there let's see what this green thing is these are like little beads oh that's kind of cute it's green with the little green crystal-y beads I like that so yeah that could be like five dollars put that over there oops beads are rolling I saw this in there but it looked like it had rhinestones in it but I don't see I'm not sure. Looks like it has holes, but there's no rhinestones in it. So I'm not sure if that had rhinestones in it or not. Um, this was interesting looking, but it's a piece of something. It just doesn't have anything else with it. So it looked like it broke, but it is pretty. But I don't have the other half to it. This looks like, like a Leah Sophia type. I like the beads, but is it? I don't know. No, it's pretty cheap feeling. And it's silver tone, not too horrible, but it looks like it was missing parts. So I'm gonna put that over there. Let's see, this is gaudy. <laughs> Ooh, giant balls with silver and gold tone. I don't really like that too much, so I'm gonna put that aside. Let's see what this is. This is red and gold tone. I think these are glass beads. Yep. Those are pretty. It's actually pretty and it has a like a little glass center bead. 
um, and it's a toggle clasp. So I don't know, that could be like a $5 necklace. That's a little gold shimmer in the beads, almost like a Venetian looking type bead. So that's not bad. Um, let's see, these look like little seed beads or seed, little tiny beads. It looks like an older necklace. It's very long, little white beads and definitely has some age to it, but I'm not sure. It's not bad, you can double it up. It's kind of pretty, put that aside. This looks like it is also similar to that one. Tiny white beads, but it has some, are these mother of pearl? Yeah, so those aren't bad. It's, I'm not sure if it's tangled or what's going on with this. Let's open it up. Wah. I got some tangly issues with it. Let's see if I can untangle it here. Oh my goodness. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think it's almost there. Flip this over maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> so that's another necklace. I would say that could be like a $5 necklace. Nothing spectacular, but I could put it in the flea market space. And this looks seemingly to be flea market type jewelry, which is okay. Let's see, I have a pin here. What's this little pin? Let's see if it's marked anything. Nope. It's not looking too, too old or anything, but I could put a couple bucks on that. Put that on that tray. What else? What else? There's a cross, but that's an earring. Oh no, no, it's nothing. A barrette, but that's icky. Put that there. This looks to be a wood and chunky glass necklace. It has some kind of thing here, but it doesn't have any name on it. So, hmm. are these glass? Oh yeah, they're glass, so maybe a couple bucks, five bucks on that. I think I'll make my money back because this one was only $25. Oh, there's a purple necklace in here. That has a Leah Sophia look to it too. Let's see. Oh, that's so funny. It is Leah Sophia. It has the tag on it. Um, so that's a Leah Sophia. I could definitely get $5 for that. I think this is glass. Yep. So that could be a $5 necklace. I like the purples. This, I don't know what's going on with this and the ribbon. I'm not sure, but it's tangled with something else here. So I don't know. I don't want to bore you guys trying to untangle things, but it doesn't look like anything too, too. Oh wait, what's this? Too, too. Um, I'm going to undo it. Uh -oh. Nothing that's worth too, too, too much, but there is a chin in here. Sorry about that. This almost has a Leah Sophia look to it too. I wish it was sterling, but I don't think it is. Um, try not to scoop it back into the, okay, here we go. Oops. So it's on a leather cord. It is a little pendant on a leather cord. Does it have a little rhinestone center? No. Let me see if it's, I don't think it's sterling. It's marked. I can't read that. Is it sterling? I don't know what it says, but I don't think it's sterling. No, it doesn't have a sterling look to it, but it is marked something. I just can't tell what it says. <laughs> so that could be a $5 necklace possibly. Put that over there. What is this? This is broken. So that's going there. This is a bracelet. It's stretchy, but it's definitely lost its stretch. It's about to break. This is a bunch of little tiny, not real pearls that broke. So I can give that to my friend. I don't see anything spectacular in here. So let's move on to the third jar. Okay, I guess I'm hammering these out here. All right, last jar. I might just make my money back. I don't know what I could do with these jars. Any thoughts on that? 
What can we do with the jars? Maybe fill them back up with jewelry. Or maybe put some marbles in them or something. I don't know. Let's see. I'm hoping that this one is better. This is another $29.99 one. Ugh. Okay, let's see what we got here. I got some bracelets right off the top. This is like a knockoff of um, the charm bracelets. Pandora, but it's definitely not a real Pandora. It's kind of cute though. It has little cute charms and they all seem to be in okay shape. So I could definitely put maybe five, eight dollars on that. They're kind of cute. Hmm. I don't see, definitely not sterling, but again, these are cute. So that is something. Put five dollars on that. Then there's this, which is a keychain. <laughs> That's not worth anything much. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but I don't think it's a bracelet. Ooh, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't have any markings and it's just a gold tone. All right, what else we have here? Oh, a little kitty. There probably is another one because that's an earring, hopefully. Let's see, oh, another. Pandora style bracelet, but this one doesn't have as many beads on it. So that's another one. Kind of cute, but maybe a few of the beads are real? No. No, but it's cute. So I'll put that over there. Ooh, could this be a sterling chain? Because that would be good. I get about $20 or more for sterling chains at the shop. People just, I wouldn't necessarily sell it with a ball on it find the end of it, I can tell if it's sterling or not. Found the end. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Yes, it is a sterling chain. So again, not going to bore you with trying to get it untangled right now, but I know I can get $20 for a sterling chain at my shop. So at least I got the brunt of my money back on that. And then there's an Alex and Ani bracelet and I sell those for $5 at the flea market. I just have to work on untangling that, but I'll do it later. <laughs> oh, one of these, these are actually, I use these for my daughters to put her water bottle on her backpack you know, or keychains and things like that. So that will come in handy. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. What is this? This looks like, oh, score, it is Pandora. Yes, see? One jar is gonna make it all worthwhile. This is a Pandora and it has one, two, three charms on it. I'm excited because Pandora is worth some money. Yep, it's sterling. Yep, yay, score, woohoo. That's a kitty charm, that's adorable. So I could like get at least 35, 40 bucks for a sterling Pandora bracelet. So yay, I'm excited. <laughs> Woohoo! This jar could be the jar. See, it only takes one. Oh, and that is a ring that looks like it could be gold. It's squished and it bent, but it has a gold look to it, is it? Oh, score. I think it's 10 carat. I think so. I got my trusty magnet here. If it sticks to the magnet, it's not, but this is a very strong magnet. See, it sticks to everything. <laughs> so this stuff is not gold, but the ring, the ring might be 10 carat score. I could get that scrapped and probably make 40 bucks or so, 35, 40 on that. Yay. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's 10 carat. Schwing! I'm gonna put that right on the tray. So that made the whole trip worthwhile. Boop, 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 boop. boop. That I got gold in there. There's a little ring that's not sterling. Penny, oh, a penny. So that means it's good luck because I found a penny and it was on a head. <laughs> so what else great am I gonna find in this jar? Some more beads. Oh, those are amber. Those are pieces of amber, even though it's broken, but I don't know, maybe I can do something with pieces of amber. Maybe I can craft it into something or give it to my friend to craft it into something. All right, let's see, this looks like a bone necklace. Pieces of bone. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> but that's what they are. 
Oh, it's made in Peru. It has a sticker on it that says Peru. I don't know about that. I'm going to put that aside. These are almost like little seeds. That's the other necklaces were like that too. I think that's what this is. It's like little seed pods. I'm not sure if these are like from an island or something. I'm going to have to look that up. And then more of the shells. These are all like that. All like the ones that were in the first jar with all the seeds. So that's interesting. I'm not sure. Here's a pin that says, I'm Irish and I'm beautiful. Woohoo! I'm not Irish, but I love, love Irish stuff. Those again are more seed stuff, but it's broken. So that's going in my broken pile. This is kind of heavy beads. They almost look sterling, but they're very tarnished and broken. And I don't think they're sterling. So that's going there. All right, that's more beads that are just beads. Okay, time to dump. But I don't want to lose sight of my sterling. That, oopsie, my huge magnet sticking to everything. Ah! dumping. Hopefully I find one more gold thing I'd be happy. <laughs> Put that there. Let's see what else we have. I think I see a pretty bracelet. So let's see. That's kind of pretty except it's missing stones. So never mind. It's not. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. But ooh. So this actually has something stuck on it. But it's like a ring that has lots of rings on it. Put this here, and I'll show you. Except this. Oh. It's kind of funky. It's got all these little beads, and then you put it on, and it's like a ring. That's kind of cute. Are they crystals or plastic? Oh, uh, they're plastic, so it's not that cute. It would be better if they were crystals. So I'm not sure what to do with that. But these are plastic and kind of funky. These are all plastic. Yep, these are plastic fantastic. So not much there. Lots of beads. Any more gold? Hello. Oh, I got a Pandora. That's, that was good. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's kind of pretty. That's the top of the bracelet. Or is it a bracelet? broken. <laughs> I just put it on and the whole thing went. So lots of beads for my friend. Let's see what else do we have here. Tangly Tangled, another Alex and Ani. So that I can get, like I said, I sell those for about five dollars at the flea market. Put that over here. These are some stretchy bracelets. I'm afraid to stretch them and then they're gonna fall apart some lower end costume bracelets and beads. This is a whole thing of beads. I don't know what that wood thing is. Oh, okay. So these are just like a lot of beads. So I'm gonna give these to my friend who does, she makes like trees of life and things like that with beads. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of beads for her. She'll be happy. These are plastic, more beads. This is a bracelet, religious bracelet, but Actually, it feels cold. So I think these are stones, real stones, but the stretch has lost its oomph. Another stretch, let's see, anything? Oh, here's a little rhinestone necklace. Uh, has some discoloration, but it is a little rhinestone necklace. And it, I wonder if I can clean it because it's got all the stones, it's just a little discolored. So I'll try and clean that and see what, if I can salvage anything with that. And anything else, anything else. Let's see, these are nothing. Um, nope, nope, nope. Okay, there's one earring and another earring, but this one doesn't match that one. This one doesn't match that one either. So I have single earrings here. Well, it looks like that's it. This is a little butterfly earring here, but I don't think it doesn't have the backing and it's bent. And let's see, so that's it. All right, so what I got was a gold ring that I could scrap. I'm not sure how much I could get for that. 10 carat, it's pretty light. 
And then I got the Pandora and then another sterling necklace that I'm gonna untangle. So I think, yeah, I'll make some money after all the $5 necklaces, not bad. Let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite piece? Hope you liked it. Subscribe. See you soon, bye.